Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and in this review we will be reviewing, how many times can I say review in one sentence? Anyway, we will be reviewing the Revell Tornado GR1 RAF version. Uh, this is 170 second scale and now includes super decal, which if I looked in the box just means ridiculous amount of decals. Uh, so far it looks like a nice kit, quite heavy for what it size it is, I've had a quick look through the box But I'm going to review it for you on the channel On the back it just describes the other model kits we can make you fork out and purchase But yeah, so let's get into this So opening up the kit We have I don't like Revels boxes, loads of people said, loads of different models of YouTubers. I don't care, I don't like them either, I'm not gonna lie. First thing we shall look at is the decals because they're here. Anyway, let me remove the instructions for a minute. So while we while they're out, I will show you the decals, which is just an insane number for the 170 second scale. This is lovely to see that Ravella put in the intro intricate decal, uh, detail, the intricate, intricate decal, okay, putting intricate, intricate, intricate detail into the, their new model kits, so here you have lovely amount of decals for this kit, so yeah, uh, all nice cockpit detailing, but if you, if we're going to have recessed det details, then I'm obviously going to paint them on myself, because they always come out better, when you paint them on yourself in decals. Anyway, here is the instruction book manual to the uh, the model kit. There's a bit of information on it in German, and here it is in English. Uh, it's a flat booklet. It's like an actual book. I've got a new. Didn't know Revell made magazines now, but they do. There's information on safety. These are the kind of symbols. As uh, where is that little symbol that makes everyone laugh? Is it the uh, heating up a screwdriver? Where is it? Yeah, heat tip of a screwdriver. I don't think anyone's going to do that and ruin their model kits. Anyway, yep, yeah, standard Ravel style. Just nice instructions that you can get through. Let's see if they have coloured the colour schemes this time. And no, no, they haven't. Which can make it kind of hard to tell what you're doing. Because when these are all the same colour, they can become a bit of a pain to understand what you are painting. So I take this is the Panavian Tornado uh, number 17 Squadron. This is the grey scheme, to my understanding. And this is the camouflage scheme that is shown on the box art. This one has much larger roundels than the other one, which... Uh, I'll likely be doing this uh, this section just for the size of the roundels because I think the roundels make kits. Anyway, there we go. They are the instructions and the decals. And uh, now for a big fat bag of plastic. Right, so let's get out all the parts and move them. And I shall put these sections there. Oh yeah, I remember this now. I started a little bit of the kit, so uh, I had to put them in a separate bag because I didn't want to lose the parts, but this is the cockpit detail. I never got around to properly starting it because I was too tired and I was going to start to leave it to the, for the summer. But here we have lovely detail on the cockpit. Can I focus it? Doesn't seem to want to focus, but... Um, you have, it has an insane amount of detail for 170 second scale kit. The uh, ejector seats are lovely. No resin copies needed for this one, but yeah. So there is the uh, lovely couple of parts for the cockpit. So I'll put them all back in the bag so I don't want to lose the parts. So yeah, for some silly reason I decided I'd chop them all up, get them out. Uh, get them out of plastic and then go change my mind don't want to build it now for the moment so they got shoved back so let's take one spur at a time this looks to be the main fuselage so you can see the missing sections here but they're just plastic parts so you have landing gears on there 
And there you go, the landing gear. Lovely recessed panel lines, super detailed, this kit seems to be. Way better than the Airfix version, which is basically a tip compared to this. Lovely detail on all this. Landing gears. The wheel wells for the landing gears is just lovely. Lovely detail on that. Sorry about the pause. Now we have the what looks like armaments, missiles, yeah, pods, long haul fuel systems. Anyway, um, lovely looking fuel system, fuel tanks, a couple of rockets, one rocket there. Um, this, this in mid-air would be refuelled by the US KC-135, which I have seen in person, which is an extremely cool aircraft. Here is two intake sections, the, um, the wing, the wings here, and the lovely ailerons at the back. You've got the intakes, yeah, one side of the wings and the front landing gear wheel well. So on this one we have another section of the wings, the, the tail of the aircraft, the nose, nose cone, the um, engines themselves, two really lovely detailed engines, main engine sections, and then you've got the uh, thingy, weighted and one piece wheels. Which is lovely to see. So, there you go. Here we have, on the final sprue, two long-haul fuel tanks, two, uh, four, yeah, four missiles with their tails separate, which I really hate. These are, no, I don't think they are. I was about to say they're paveways, but no, they're not. They're not paveways. Don't know what they are, I will look into that. And then you've got two nice missiles, which I have no clue what they are on the side. Sidewinders, probably lock on missiles to what they look like. But yeah, so some lovely bombs and some missiles there, which is look quite nice. So if we look at the glass pieces, which is, well, these look quite bad actually, sadly. Have a quick look. Let's try and remove the uh, solar tape. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, these are really poor. What a letdown of the. That is a. That is a the kit's let down. It's got a f very frosted canopy already from whatever moulding system they used it for this. I can't tell if it's injection. I think it's injection. But, uh, yeah, that's a shame. It looks like I'll be keeping that canopy open so I can see into the cockpit detail if it's good enough because I don't want that showing too much. I want them to be looking into the cockpit nice and clear. Lights and stuff. These are so badly produced. I can't even tell what they are. It's like a little sprue of chunks of clear plastic which isn't even clear but uh, that is the one let down for this model kit other than that seems to be very good but yeah that is the let down of the model kit sadly but uh, on other terms if I can find it where is it gone? where is it I am, I am building at this very moment the Ravel 1 to 30 second scale version of the uh, the Tornado GR1 Panavian. So, uh, we have a gyroscopic wing. So, uh, yeah, so um, there is the uh, 1 to 30 second scale one with even what is kind of embarrassingly has less detail in the wheel wells than the 1 to second scale one. But this is quite an old kit. So, uh, yeah, so there is the. Uh, my work on the 1 to 30 second scale, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Another review by Mr. Modeler, and come back for more. Thank you.